Question 9. Explain how many coats of paint considered as quality paint? Answer. Color coats depend on what type and make of color you using for painting. Some darker colors and patterns needs up to three coats of color to cover. To figure it out how much coat do you require, always wait for the paint to dry between coats. Although one coat is enough if color contrast is not an issue. Question 10. How you would paint if you are using a brush and not roller for painting? Answer. If you are using a brush instead of roller then use a primer for the first coat. Take a half fill color bucket, dip 50 meters M brush up to one third of the bristle length. Then hold the brush at 90 degrees to the ceiling and paint a straight line, cutting between the walls and the ceiling. Turn the brush parallel to the ceiling and drag the brush parallel to the ceiling without touching the ceiling edge. Same procedure can be repeated along the bottom. To paint the large and middle part of the wall you can use a broad brush. Question 11. Why paint extender is used for painting? Answer. Paint extender like Floetrol does two things. It reduces the paint drying time, giving you a longer window period to overlap just painted areas without having lap marks left on the walls. Secondly, the extender helps paint to levels out and spread out the paint, eliminating the brush strokes. Paint extender is usually used when you have to color woodwork, cabinets, and drywall and so on. Question 12. Explain how you can paint using a paint pad. Answer. To paint walls and ceiling you can use 200 mm pads. And for cutting around the edges you can use 30 m and 50 m pads. To load the color on the pad use a special tray which is designed for color pad. The pad must be kept flat on the wall or ceiling and moved gently on either side. Question 13. List out some of the extra accessories you can use for perfect painting. Answer. Can claw. It helps to hold on the can without interfering you painting job. Edge painter. It is used to paint the edges surrounding windows and ceiling walls without touching it. Door hinge mask. It would protect your door hinges from coloring. Elite window brush. This pointed brush are specially designed to paint windows. Twist and reach pole. This tool comes with an extender and you do not need ladder or steps tool if you are using this tool. Mini coater long handle roller. This tool is compact and it can pass through the narrow spaces. For example, it can color the space behind the heater, cabinets and freestanding tubs. Foam corner roller. This tool is very useful to paint the corner of the walls. Glass mask. Glass mask could be very handy to cover the glass while painting where the other tools that can be useful are carbide paint scrapers by painter and tools extension brush holder question 14 what is the use of turpentine answer unlike normal color you cannot clean up oil paints with water you have to use mineral spirits or turpentine to take paint out of the brushes question 15 explain what is the easiest way to remove wallpaper answer Use hot water and vinegar hot water would help to loosen the wallpaper glue and the vinegar would help dissolve it Remove it by using fabric softener and warm water. Using ammonia and hot water. 1 quarter of ammonia plus 2 quarter of ammonia. Use warm water plus liquid detergent plus cellulose paste. Apply it on the wallpaper and leave it for 5 minutes and then start pulling off the wallpaper. Use steam wallpaper stripper. Question 16. While using a paint sprayer what is an ideal distance between the wall and sprayer? Answer. Ideal distance between the wall and sprayer is 12 to 24 inches. 